Welcome back, friends, to Reading Destination. I'm so glad you came back to join us. We have a wonderful story, a, a true story, about Thomas Edison. He was a great inventor. He invented so many things that we still use today. Uh, just some, there are more modern forms of them today than there were then, but we still use them. Thomas Alva Edison was born on February 11th, 1847 in Milan, Ohio. His parents were Samuel and Nancy Edison. Samuel Edison owned a mill which made wood shingles. Those are the things that you put on your house, on your roof. Nancy Edison had been a teacher. Thomas was the youngest of their seven children. Thomas was curious and asked his parents many questions. If they didn't know the answer, he asked, why don't you know? Thomas loved to experiment. He made a nest and filled it with goose and chicken eggs. He sat on the eggs to see if they would hatch. Of course, they didn't. The eggs broke and ruined the seat of his parents. Thomas also experimented with fire inside his father's barn. Uh-oh. <coughs> the barn burned to the ground. His father was furious. He punished Thomas by giving him a thrashing in the town square in front of everybody. Thomas was not a healthy child. He had many colds, and when he was eight, he had scarlet fever. He was deaf later, perhaps because of these early illnesses. In 1854, the Edison family moved to Port Huron, Michigan. There, seven-year-old Thomas went to school for the first time. In class, Thomas was restless. He didn't pay attention to the lessons, and he asked lots of questions. His teacher, Reverend Engel, had no patience for Thomas. He felt the boy was not smart enough to learn his lessons. Thomas's mother told Reverend Engel that he didn't know how to teach a curious boy. After three months, she took Thomas out of school and taught him herself. Later, Thomas went to two other schools. He once got into trouble for bringing a noisy chicken to class, but he did learn. At home, Thomas set up a laboratory in, his, in the cellar. Strange smells, smoke, and sometimes the sound of small explosions came from there. Thomas was finding answers to some of his many questions. Oh, look at that. That made a mess. Hmm. Beginning in 1859, when Thomas was 12, he worked as the candy butcher on the Grand Trunk Railroad. He sold candy, sandwiches, fruit, and newspapers to passengers. Thomas set up a laboratory in the baggage car. He did experiments during the long stopover in Detroit. But Thomas didn't take proper care of the chemicals. And one day, there was a fire. The baggage master quickly put it out. Then he threw the chemicals off the train. In 1862, Thomas bought a second-hand printing press and some type. He set the press up in the baggage car and printed his own newspaper the Weekly Herald. In it, he printed news of people who traveled and worked on the train. Thomas also wrote his opinions. He believed in work and wrote, the more to do, the more done. At each train stop, Thomas got off and sold newspapers to people near the station. With the money he earned, Thomas bought more chemicals for his experiments. One morning in 1862 at the Mount Clemens station, Thomas saw a boxcar rolling toward a small boy. Oh, oh, look out! 
Thomas dropped his things, ran, and saved the child. The boy's father rewarded Thomas by teaching him telegraphy. Telegraphy? Telegraphy. After that, beginning in 1863, Thomas worked for almost six years as a telegraph operator. In 1869, Thomas moved to New York City. While he was there, he visited a company that sent out minute-by-minute -minute information about changes in the price of gold. When the equipment in that office broke, Thomas quickly found the trouble and fixed it. He was given a high paying job taking care of the company's equipment. A few months later, Thomas and a friend formed their own company. They made electrical devices for telegraphy. Thomas Edison worked from early morning until late at night. He invented a telegraph that printed the price of gold and silver. Then Thomas went to work for himself. He invented an improved machine to send out minute by minute information on the price of stocks. He sold it to Western Union. With the money, he set up a laboratory in Newark, New Jersey. Thomas Edison worked on improving the telegraph. Among his inventions was an automatic telegraph system. It didn't need a telegrapher to take down the messages. He also invented the quadruplex, which could send four messages at the same time over one wire. Edison's company sold printers to the gold and stock company. In 1871, Thomas helped a friend's sister get a job there. She was a pretty 16-year-old named Mary Stilwell. Thomas kept stopping by Golden Stock to check the printers and to see Mary Stilwell. On December 25th, 1871, Thomas and Mary married. They later had three children, Marion, Thomas Jr., and William. Thomas Jr., excuse me. Thomas loved his wife, but his work always came first. Even on his wedding day, he went to his shop to work on an experiment. See all his wedding clothes. Thomas Edison had odd work habits. He started work late and often fell asleep on his laboratory bench. He ate around midnight. In 1876, Thomas moved to Menlo Park, New Jersey, and set up a large, two-story laboratory. His work led to many inventions. He became known as the Wizard of Menlo Park. In 1876, Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone. In 1877, Edison and his staff improved it. They invented the carbon transmitter, it sent a clearer sound and became part of the Bell Telephone. Then, Thomas worked on a machine to save sounds and replay them. In 1877, he invented the phonograph. In the 1870s, homes were lit with candlelight and oil and gas lamps. But there were smoke, gas fumes, and the danger of fire. In 1878, Thomas Edison began searching for some way to use electricity to light homes. Thomas Edison's notes filled hundreds of books. He said at the time, I speak without exaggeration when I say that I have considered 3,000 theories in connection with electric light. He experimented for more than a year. Genius, he said, is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. That means you have to work really hard and sometimes a really long time to make something come to fruition, to make it happen. The electric light bulb he invented in 1879 had baked cotton thread inside. When electricity passed through the bulb, the thread glowed. 
People came to Menlo Park to see Edison's new invention. And when they saw the lights, they wanted them in their homes. Thomas Edison hired workers to make bulbs, lamps, wires, and other things needed for this new form of light. In 1882, in New York City, he set up the Pearl Street Station to generate electricity. In September, electricity was used to provide light for the first 85 customers. Edison's wife, Mary, had been ill for several years. Then, in July 1884, she contracted typhoid fever. She died on August 9, 1884. Following her death, Edison spent even more time with his work. One evening the following year, while Thomas was visiting a friend in Boston, he met Mina Miller. She was a smart, well-educated woman. She was beautiful too, with deep brown eyes and black hair. A few months later, while he was walking, he thought about Mina and was almost run over by a streetcar. Thomas Edison was in love. Thomas married Mina on February 24, 1886. They moved to a large house in West Orange, New Jersey, and had three children together, Madeline, Charles, and Theodore. Thomas developed a new photograph with better sound. Then, in 1887, he placed a tiny phonograph inside a tin doll. With the turn of a crank, the doll seemed to talk. Thomas, Thomas Edison invented a movie camera and projector. In 1903, his company made the first movies to tell a story. The Life of an American Fireman and The Great Train Robbery. He also invented the storage battery used in electric cars and submarines, a cement mixer, and a copying machine. Thomas Alva Edison was issued 1,093 patents. That means they were licensed inventions, so no one else could steal them. More than any other inventor, he won many awards. In 1928, he was given the Congressional Medal of Honor for his many contributions to society. In 1931, Thomas Edison said, I am long on ideas, but short on time. He had diabetes, stomach ulcers, and other ailments. He died on October 18, 1931, at the age of 84. To honor Thomas Edison on the night of his funeral, lights all across the United States were turned off at 10 o'clock. Thomas Edison was an inventive genius. His inventions changed our world. And I thought I'd read you the author's note just before we finish. Thomas was the youngest of seven children, but Thomas only knew three of his siblings, Marion, William and Harriet. Carlisle and Samuel Jr. died before he was born, and in 1847, the year Thomas was born, his sister Eliza died. Edison nicknamed his eldest child Dot and his second child Dash after the signals used to send messages over the telegraph. Lewis Miller, the father of Thomas Edison's second wife, Mina, was also an inventor. He made improvements to the reaper to harvest grain with less waste. I hope you enjoyed that. That is the end of our story and the end of our education about Thomas Edison. So, please subscribe, hit the little bell so that you can be notified every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday by 3 p.m. Central Time when a new story is being posted. And be sure to share. Share, share, share. Bye.